Hi, this is Jack at Jack's Transmissions, and today we're going to talk about the Evo 4 through 9 1 2 7075 billet shift fork. This is made out of 7075 T6 aluminum, which is the high strength end of the aluminum spectrum. Obviously, it fits everything absolutely perfectly. It's just, you know, it's set up super nice. And it has our design here where the OEM, so you can see from the smearing here, only makes contact in three points. And it's starting to smear pretty bad through here. Ours, we made it a little bigger here, so it's, it's like OEM, but the sleeve makes contact all the way around the face of the fork. So this gives you a lot more strength, stability, and life out of the fork. Yeah, it's made here in-house at Jack's Transmissions. Okay, so there's a lot of work that goes into this stuff to you know, not only assure quality, but to make sure that our design is gonna work and that you know, the part is made as efficiently as possible. So we want the part to be incredibly high quality and incredibly strong, but we want the machining costs to be down so we can sell them at a reasonable price where you, know, you can replace these, be confident it's a, it's a great part, and not have to pay a lot of money for it. So, so what we're doing here is we have a simulator. So we calculated, you know, for you know, somebody making a ton of power, they're at the track, launch the car in first, you go over to second, you're putting everything you got into that one-two shift as hard as you can, but you missed it. You let go of the clutch too early, or the synchro is grinding or something, where you're putting everything you can into that shift and it's just not going in, it's blocked. That's about 2,000 Newton meters of pressure between the sleeve and the fork here when that happens. So in the simulator, we have it at 2,000 Newton meters of force and we're checking things like stress risers, you know, what kind of stress are we looking at in the fork? We can see a little red dot here. That's a stress riser, maybe the next batch that we machine, we'll do like a little fillet there. But again, this is worst case scenario. So our red spot really doesn't matter too much. The rest of it though looks pretty happy. We're only at the mid range of, you know, what, you know, the stresses look like on this fork. It's, it's actually not too bad. And then when we go over here, I try to look at uh, deflection. A exaggerated here, that's what it looks like. So with stuff like this, we want to make it efficiently but we also want it to be as high quality as we can make the part and to be as strong as possible. 